So you want to know how to prank? These are April Fool pranks you can pull on your friends and family. Check it out. So what you got to do is take a fake tongue and a piece of wood. We're going to line up the tongue on the wood and you're going to make it look like you did a stupid dare or challenge and nailed your tongue to the wood. Now get some fake blood. Oh man, that would be really painful, wouldn't it? Oh, you just nailed your tongue to a piece of wood, you idiot. What's wrong with you? That's the exact reaction you want from someone. So what you're gonna do is now take this tongue nailed to a wood and get down real low with your phone and take a selfie to send it to someone who really cares about you, like maybe your mom or your dad. So make sure that selfie looks really good. Oh, oh. Oh, this is the most idiotic prank anybody could ever do. This is the dumbest challenge ever. So that's why you're gonna make it look like you actually nailed your tongue to a piece of wood. Oh, this has gotta be the easiest April Fool's prank you can pull on your buddy. All you gotta do is get a B sticker. I got this stack of stickers here. It's the best ones you can use like for addresses for your house or something, right? So it's a reflective sticker, but it's a good quality sticker. Just take this large B and slap it on someone's back and say, you got a B on your shoulder. You got a B on your back. It's a huge, massive, scary B. Oh my gosh. Watch them take their shirts off. You, care, you, you got, got a B on you. Oh, you got a B on you. Get it, get it. Where is it? On your back. Where? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, she's right there. Oh, now. Oh, she got it, got it. Oh, B. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got a B on you. Holy oh, You got a B. You got a B. She got a B on her. It's on your shirt. It's on your hair. It's going to be here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it oh I don't see him. Yeah. No, right here. Swat it, swat it, swat it, swat it. Uh. This prank is pretty nasty. You're getting a volleyball and you're gonna cover it in petroleum jelly. Super nasty, especially if you're out playing volleyball and you have nothing like gloves or anything to wipe all this petroleum jelly off and it's gonna be greasy, nasty, and sand all over. Check it out. So get some nasty petroleum jelly and just start smearing it all over the ball. You wanna try and get a clear coat on it. Okay, so this ball is actually covered up with petroleum jelly all over it. You touch it with your finger, oh, it's disgusting, it's nasty. So it's a perfect setup for somebody that likes to play volleyball. You just put the ball out, they're gonna be out, they're gonna pick up the ball with their bare hands and they're not gonna know what the heck is all over their fingers. Check it out. Oh, oh my gosh, look, there's sand in my hands. This stuff is nasty here, dude. <laughs> For this prank, get a fake snake. You can get one at prankkits.com, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape it to the bottom of your friend's flip-flop. So once your snake is tied and attached to the flip-flop, just tuck it back somewhere where your friend can't see. He won't even know. He's gonna put his flip-flops on, and he's gonna start taking a hike. Oh, oh, snake, snake! Ah. This prank, you're gonna need some heavy duty glue traps for like spiders and insects, stuff like that. So get this glue trap, it's super sticky. Look how nasty this stuff is. I mean, it's really sticky. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this goop, this sticky goop to the bottom of your friend's flip flop. Oh my gosh, it's ruined. We're gonna wanna peel off the backing. This is a great wake up prank, man. Your friend just wakes up and his head hits this goop. All right, so now you got the, the heavy-duty glue on the bottom of your friend's flip-flop. Just leave it out, ready for him to take out. Look, you can't even tell. You don't even know there's anything wrong with your flip-flop. So when he goes in to put his flip-flops on, you can't even... Oh, what the heck? What is on my flip-flop, dude? Ew, what is that? This stuff is so nasty. Perfect for an April Fool's prank. Tell me in the comments what you would do with these heavy duty glue traps. How would you prank with these? Because these things are nasty. Look at that. Oh. Ooh, I got another idea. How about this one? So I got a fake $100 bill. It's not real. And I add this sticky glue to the back of it because I thought it would be perfect for a $100 bill. Look at this stuff. Oh, come on, come on. We're going to go slap this on the ground and see who picks this up and what they're going to do when they see how sticky it is. Nasty. Watch. I love it. It's such a good prank. It is so funny. Anyone's gonna pick up a hundred dollar bill. But who's gonna pick up one that has that sticky, extra heavy duty glue on the back of it? Yeah. Score! 
This next one is so easy, you guys have seen me do it before. It's the broken nose prank using noodles. Just get a couple noodles, right? Routine noodles are the best, but if you don't have them, these little tiny half shell noodles will work, right? Pop them in your mouth and walk up to somebody and go, oh man, my nose feels funny. Do you think it's broken? Oh. You're biting down on the noodles, gives you an epic crunch. Here, let me show you some reactions. Oh. It hurts. I'm just chewing on a noodle when I do this at the same time. Oh, you're so cool. Mm. That mm. is so cool. Oh my God. Mm. That was funny as hell. That was funny as hell. I don't know, ever since I did it. I can't even breathe through it. Ah, why'd you do that? All right, so we're using the Ownage Pranks app. We got the Rakesh, the Indian guy, ordering pizza, and it's ridiculous. And we're gonna play that prank on a Chinese food restaurant. Fantastic work, Mabel. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, I wanting to make one order for pizza delivery. For the Ravi? I wanting one pepperoni with mushroom, one, uh, one Hawaiian, one cheese, and two bottles of soda. Your address? No, no, I, I did not say that. I wanting mushroom, <laughs> mushroom, right? Uh, are you stupid or something, man? Why can't you get my order right? Uh, mother clucker, I will come in there right now and make the pizza myself, okay? You are too incompetent to take order. You were the one making all of the loud noises last night. Was it you? No, I was not making loud noise. Okay, well, the landlord gave to me your number. He said you were the one who was keeping everybody awake all night. Where is this at? Okay, well then why is this the landlord where, saying where, you? Where was this at? I'm just, I'm just calling you because he said it was you. Who? You listen. You listen to me now, hey, okay? Hey, I was hey, not hey, having hey, any hey, hey, you're talking, listen, you're talking to Sergeant Wolfpack right now. You're not talking to the gentleman who lives there. I'm, I'm trying to get the facts straight right now. What, what's going on? If I, if I need to put Mike in place, I will, but I need to know, I need to know what happened. That was awesome! He totally bought it! They're arguing and everything. We're gonna have the Indian guy ordering pizza from the Chinese food restaurant. Chinese restaurant, let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, hello. Yes, Matthew. Yeah, I wanting to make one order for pizza delivery. Oh, no. Not it ever. Yeah, I live on 245 Second Street. No, 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 come in for pick out, no did ever. Uh, not wait, did ever. Can you read back to me my order so I know you put it right? No, I said we don't eat ever. Dude, this is funny. Uh, are you stupid or something, man? Why can't you get my order right? What did you order? Uh, Mother Clucker, I will come in there right now and make the pizza myself, okay? You are too incompetent to take order. Yeah, we are only... We don't have a okay, time. Okay, I'm coming right now. I will show you how to do your job properly, Mother Ugly. So you want to come in here, okay? Let me know in the comments below who you would prank using the Owners Pranks app. Another prank app you gotta download, perfect for April Fools, is my prank app, Dude Your Car. Just go on there, take a picture of somebody's car, and you can edit their car like it's on fire. There's a boot on their tire, there's a ticket, there's police around the car. You send them that edited photo to their phone and they're gonna freak out. It works great, especially if like someone's outside of a restaurant and you're with them and you just take a picture of their car real quick so they think it's happening right now and you watch them run out to go see what's going on, investigate, and they come back to, oh man, there's nothing wrong with my car, you pranked me. All right, this prank is super easy. All you do is pull up next to somebody at a stoplight and tell them their car keys are still in the car door. Check it out. Your keys in your car door, bud. Uh -huh. Your keys are in your car door. Gotcha. <laughs> He looked, not me. <laughs> <laughs> your keys in your car door. Thank you. Yeah, in the door. Oh, I don't need it. Right there. Your keys are in your door. I'm sorry, what? Your key your car keys are in the door. I was just messing with you. What are you doing? <laughs> April Fool, it's an early April Fool's joke. It's my birthday. Hey, er, happy early birthday. So which April Fool pranks are you gonna pull? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna feature select comments in my next video. If you wanna download the apps, Dude Your Car, or Owner's Pranks, check out the links in the description. Hit that subscribe button, then the bell. 
live inspired, shock the world, and I'll see you next time.